think that one of the most rewarding things about this role is seeing people's progression, seeing people's uh, relationship that you build up with them so that they trust you. We're essentially there to provide extra support to those transitioning from custody to community. There is probably no typical day, they very much vary. There's some days that I'm very office based, but then there are other days where we just don't stop and we're not really in the office. So we tend to do prison visits, um, home visits. We'll go out into the community with the members to set up their bank accounts, benefits, whatever their needs are. But it can also be quite an emotional support. So having that understanding of what someone has gone through to get to the point that they committed their offence and actually understanding that they've had a lot of trauma themselves and we do look at risk in a slightly different way as well so we look at it in a bit more of a therapeutic community way. I think one of my biggest challenges is when your time that you structure changes because you never know what you're coming into and dealing with quite traumatic stories that people are telling you and having to sort of emotionally cope with that can be quite a challenge. In terms of managing some of them challenges, we're really lucky with the support we're offered. So we get weekly group supervision with a supervisor. Um, we also get monthly with a clinician who is a psychologist. So I think that one of the most rewarding things about this role is seeing people's progression, seeing people's uh, relationship that you build up with them so that they trust you. We have a good six to 12 months prior to their release to build that up. Um, so we run a lunch club here and seeing the members all together, working together in a positive pro-social way is so uplifting, rewarding, and that's the stuff that makes me come back in every day. There's opportunities within the probation service to build a career. I mean, I can go on now to complete the professional qualification in probation, which would train me as a probation officer. But there's also further opportunities through the offender personality disorder pathway as well. So if someone was applying for the PSO role, I think I'd say to them to just be yourself. Enjoy it. Just go for it.